All right, let's do this. Woo! What's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are enjoying your day. I was enjoying my day until my car decided it wanted to act up on the way home from work. So I had to stop to check the engine. Then I get back in my car only to have my car not start up. So now I'm sitting there with jumble cables and staying in the street hoping somebody will stop for me to help jumpstart my car. Shout out to this man Jazz, man. You're a cool guy. I appreciate you stopping because you said you were in this situation before and nobody stopped for you. So I appreciate your help. I appreciate you being patient because it took us like 20 minutes to start this car because it just didn't want to start. So I appreciate you taking that time to do it. And man, wherever you go in life, I wish you success. Thank you for stopping for me, man. That was, that was, I really appreciate that because I was going to be stuck out there. But anyway, this ain't about my car messing up or anything. This is about the Ravens and their week 17 matchup they've got against the Cincinnati Bengals. We are in a win and we're in situation. This is basically a playoff game because if you lose this, game over. There's no next week for you. Win and we're in. So this game needs to have everybody's focus. Full focus, full attention. Let's not mess around, okay? We've been in this exact situation before. In fact, three years ago, man, we were in this situation. New Year's Eve 2017, the Ravens were in a win and were in a situation against the Cincinnati Bengals. They came to Baltimore to face us in that Week 17 matchup. All we had to do was win a football game and we would have been celebrating and heading to the playoffs to compete for a championship. We go into that game and for the first half we do virtually nothing. We're down 17 to nothing. All of a sudden a spark happens thanks to a, a kick return from Chris Moore and he ends up capitalizing on that by getting a touchdown to end the half. So we do that and next thing you know we come out the second half trying to make a big stump. Next thing you know a turnover happens. Then it's a back and forth affair until eventually we take a 27-24 lead thanks to the touchdown pass from Flacco to Mike Wallace. So we're all sitting here thinking, man, the game's always going to be great. Now the game's on the line. Defense is out there. Defense going to make a stop and we head into the postseason. All they got to do is make one stop and we're in. Fourth and 12. Next thing you know, Andy Dalton hits Tyler Boyd and he takes it in for a touchdown. Everybody in Baltimore was stunned. The Ravens flock heart just collapsed. We were done. I remember physically dropping to the floor when I saw that and just being fueled with anger as to how our defense gave up a touchdown on fourth and 12. Season over, that was it. And funny enough, that's that moment probably com like convinced the franchise that they might want to start looking for a quarterback. Maybe not immediately, but they might want to start looking for a quarterback. No, it's not like they're going to be taking it with whatever pick they have or just trading up. But if a quarterback falls to them, they're going to take a chance on them, even if they don't have the pick. Maybe they'll trade back into the first round. And funny enough, that ended up happening. That's how we ended up getting Lamar Jackson. Nobody was putting any faith in him. Nobody really, the team that needed a quarterback already got their quarterback. Nobody was really picking him. So he dropped all the way to the 32 pick. Baltimore traded up, took him, and now he's doing his thing. Now, granted, I guarantee you, not a single person in that front office was sitting here like, yeah, this guy in two years is going to face the franchise. He's going to be a league MVP, and he's going to be doing all this stuff. They did not predict that. Maybe they predicted it throughout a career, possibly? I don't think they predicted MVP, but like him being the franchise guy, yeah, I think they predicted that. But I don't think they saw it happening within two years of him being drafted, so yeah. But yeah, that game... Just, it, it tore everybody's hearts. It tore our hearts, and we couldn't believe that Cincinnati ended our season. Well, look at us now. Three years later, we're in the same situation. This time it's gonna be on the road, and this time we're gonna have a different quarterback. So we've got to get the job done. Win, and we're in. There will be no excuses for losing to Cincinnati. You've got to get the job done. One thing I'll definitely say is, under Lamar Jackson, we don't really lose games we're favored to win by, like, double digits. That's not, ex you know, really expected. I'm not saying it hasn't happened before. Obviously, the playoff game against the Titans last year, I believe we were 10-point favorites or 11-point favorites, and we ended up getting blown out in that. So it's possible we can lose. I'm not saying that, but for the most part, in Lamar's career, if he's expected to beat a team by double digits, he usually beats that team by double digits. That's just how it's been. Under Lamar, the Ravens have just been doing that, so... 
I expect this game on Sunday, I expect them knowing the situation at hand, they're going to be focused, they're going to be ready, they're going to be engaged, and they're going to want to start fast. So I can't wait to see what they're going to bring to the table. So, what do we need to do to win? Well, first of all, I don't know who's going to get the start for a quarterback in Week 17. I didn't check. Maybe it's Finley. I don't know. But one thing for sure is the defense, you can't give up any big plays. One thing that's been happening and has actually been improving throughout the last couple weeks is the pass rush. They've been, they've been actually been able to get to the quarterback more, and they're sacking these guys down more, and they're just putting more pressure on them. So that's a good thing. Hopefully that continues on Sunday and they can get to the quarterback for Cincinnati because we need to put him down on the ground. Get him to the ground, sack him, put pressure on him, don't give up the big play, and force him to make mistakes. That's what we need to do defensively. It's as simple as that. If the defense can do it, this is going to be a game about execution. All the Ravens need to do is go out there and execute their game plan. Defense just needs to make stops. Whether they're sacking the quarterback, whether they're just putting pressure to force him to make mistakes, whether they're, give, they're making sure not to give up the big play over the top, or whether they're stopping the run. Defense just needs to execute. Simple as that. It's nothing else. Just execute. Execute, execute, execute. Offensively. Continue to do what you do. Lamar Jackson is coming back from being on the list. He has been rejuvenated. He's been one of the best quarterbacks in the game this last month. His production has been crazy. He's been... <coughs> excuse me. Ah, two. When you get three, that's a problem. But he's been fantastic since he's gotten back. And this offense has been fantastic. He's been rejuvenated. He's playing back to his MVP standard. And this is the right time to do it. A red-hot Lamar Jackson and the red-hot Ravens squad trying to sneak into the playoffs. This is the time to get the job done. They've all been pressing on it. Coach Harbaugh's been pressing on it. Lamar's been pressing on it. Everybody on the team's been pressing on it. Finish. Don't look ahead. Focus on this game. Don't look at these guys as inferior because of their record. Focus and put your attention on doing everything you can to win this game. So yeah, Lamar Jackson in the offense, what they got to do? Simple. Run the football. Run the rock. You got JK. You got guts. And if you want and Lamar sees something, he can take off himself. Nobody's going to stop him in space. When he's one-on-one, -on -one, he's most likely winning that matchup. So Lamar Jackson, take what the defense is going to give you. If there's nothing there, take off. Get those yardage. Pick up those first downs. In terms of the passing game, let's see if we can continue to get things going, especially when we get in the red zone. I like how we're getting Des Bryant involved more. We need to continue to use him more in the red zone moving forward. So hopefully Des gets more involved in the red zone and they use him in that situation because that is definitely where he can thrive. Back-to-back -back weeks, he scored a touchdown. Let's see if we can make it three in a row. In terms of Mark Andrews, continue to do what you do. I see you out there being productive. Lamar, trust you completely. Continue to play at that level. Marquise Brown, who most people are starting to think, okay, he's got his Hollywood Brown name back. I don't know. I don't know how the rest of the Ravens squad thinks, guys. Like, we've all talked about this. I don't know if we should still give this man his title back, but, hey, he's been scoring touchdowns, like, what, the last three games? He's been doing his thing. So, I mean, uh, do you give it to him at this point? But, yeah. He's got to continue to play well. He's got to continue to find, um, get open and give Lamar a chance. And hopefully he can continue to score. Uh, Miles Boykin, he's been effective in you know, the last couple weeks. Didn't do much last week uh, against the Giants. But still, you know, I'm hoping we continue to get him more involved. Devin DuVernay, unfortunately, I don't know how they're going to get this dude involved in the game. I honestly don't, don't, I don't know how because, like, the way they use, the way they play their game, the way they're using him, it doesn't really seem to work in his favor. Like, you got to get the ball in his hands quickly. Again, he, he's a punt returner, so he's used to being able to run between blocks. So get the ball in his hands quickly and let him go to work. We got to get him more involved. But, Jim, the past game, for the most part, try to get it going. And Lamar, try to gain a rhythm, try to start out hot, try to get the job done, find your defeat, um, your, find your receivers, and make sure you take what the defense is giving you. Simple as that. Run the football, take what the defense is giving you in the pass game, and just be Lamar Jackson. That's all we really need. Offense, execute in the run game, in the pass game, and put up points. Defense, make sure to bring pressure, 
get the quarterback to the ground, don't give up the big play over the top, and stop the run. If we can do these two things, we should be able to win this game and punch our ticket into the postseason for the third straight year. At that point, it's anybody's game. We will have a fair chance to compete for a championship. You never know how it's going to go. But everybody's going to have to remain focused. Let's not forget what happened in 2017. We cannot let that impact how we're going to play in this game on Sunday. So everybody's got to be ready. Coaches got to be ready. Greg Roman, who apparently Lamar Jackson said has been adding plays. So that's definitely good. I don't know if he's adding any passing plays, but he's, I definitely know he's probably adding more run plays because that's Greg Roman's specialty. So continue to add more to the play calling. Uh, Wink Martindale, I need them to be able to put something up to bring pressure against whatever quarterback we're going up against. I still think it's Finley. I don't, I don't know who the quarterback they They got two quarterbacks. To work with. I don't know who's getting the start, so that's not my priority. Whoever's getting the start, make sure to blitz and bring bring pressure. So whatever you want to do, Wink, go to town. John Harbaugh is the head coach. Lead this team. Galvanize this team. Make sure everybody's focused and disciplined. Make sure everybody is not out there trying to cause mistakes or, you know, forcing penalties to happen. Make sure we play a nice, clean, disciplined game. We got to get in the rhythm, we got to stay in that rhythm, and we got to ride that rhythm until we can win this game and punch our ticket into the playoffs. That's basically all we need to do. Special teams are going to be special teams. I know what to expect from them, although Sam is on the injury list, so I don't know what to expect of that. But you know what? I still trust I still trust the rest of the Wolfpack that they can get it done even if Sam's not there again on Sunday. Obviously, we got like a bunch of injuries, a bunch of people on the injury list, so the way I'm seeing it, probably want to keep them out because if you can win this game against Cincinnati you got to trust the guys you have right there with the way the team is playing right now the way Lamar is playing the way the offense is looking you got to trust that Lamar and the offense will be able to take it get they'll be able to take whatever you give them and they'll be able to capitalize on it and they'll be able to get the job done so if you can force a turnover or two they're going to take full advantage of it get in the end zone have an early lead establish that and continue to ride that throughout the rest of the game so whoever's, we got a lot of injuries on the defense side, especially with Jimmy Smith and Marcus Peters and stuff like that. I just say let these guys rest. If they're not 100% to play, let these guys rest. Let's have next man up. Now, of course, that's definitely a gambling, not definitely a gambler. You're risking it. You're risking it by taking out your starts. But if they're not ready to go and they can't really go and them being out there is going to be a hindrance, you got to go next man up and there'll be no excuses to lose the game. So we've got to get the job done. There will be no excuses if the Ravens lose this game and miss the playoffs. That will be a huge disappointment. You control your destiny now. So win the game and we're in the playoffs. Simple as that. With that being said, I got the Ravens winning this game. I don't know, give them 31-15. I think 31-15 to 15 is nice. Lamar Jackson have a couple touchdown passes. Probably um, one to Mark Andrews because he's really looking for him. And one to either... Uh, Hollywood or Des Bryant. Maybe Des Bryant gets another look in the red zone. And then Gus, he's going to give himself a rushing touchdown. J.K. Dobbins is going to rush for nearly 100 yards. And, you know, Lamar, he's going to be doing his thing. Maybe Lamar might actually pass 1,000 yards rushing this year. We'll see. We will definitely see. So that's definitely um, something to look forward to. Defensively, I think they're going to force at least two turnovers against Cincinnati. It's going to give us a good opportunity on short fields to be able to do something with it, hopefully. And we'll just be able to capitalize. Hopefully, we will come out with a 31-15 win, and we will punch our ticket into the postseason where whoever we're facing off with, what is the Bills, what is the Steelers, what is the Titans, we will talk about, and we will hope that this team will be prepared for. Because God knows, if Lamar gets into the playoffs again and goes one and done, no matter what the situation is, people are going to crucify him. So, you know, plus we're you know, trying to compete for a championship. So we'll see what happens with that. But with that being said, that's all I got. I cannot wait for this matchup on Sunday. This is going to be an epic battle. Uh, well, probably not much of an epic battle. It's going to be uh, a very crucial game. But, you know, the entire day is going to be an epic battle. Because so many teams are fighting for a playoff spot right now. And so many scenarios can happen that takes one team out or puts another team. It's just so crazy. So I can't wait for Week 17. I can't wait for this Ravens game. And I hope we come out with a W and punch our ticket into the postseason so we can compete for a championship. Don't know if we'll get it this year, but that's a different case. We'll see. We'll see what this team's made up in the postseason. With that being said, that's all I got, and I'm out of here, man. Peace. Go Ravens!